And there was the movement against the Vietnam War. From a draft of a 1970 speech for a rally. I love this land and the many kinds of people in it. Partly because you and I are here today, the world still has hope. Our Pentagon war makers let us go on and talk while they go on and bomb. The U.S. has spent billions of our dollars on war, so action is needed. You and I must be heard. The peace-loving American people, all colors and kinds, must be heard. Here is Ben Kroska. I know Ben. <laughs> ben Kroska singing this anti-war song. Ben right Pete made old songs relevant to his own day, both by changing the words and by adding historical context. He wrote Bring Him Home in the midst of America's last conscripted war, which killed two million Vietnamese people and led to the deaths of over 50,000 American soldiers. After the Vietnam War, the draft ended, and with it went the everyday reminder to Americans about our government's brutal wars. Today, the U.S has over 800 foreign military bases across the planet, 770 more than all foreign military bases controlled by all other countries combined. So, bring them home. You love your Uncle Sam, bring him home, bring him home. Support our boys in Vietnam, bring him home, bring him home. It'll make the general sad, I know. Bring him home, bring him home. They want to tangle with the foe, bring him home. Their big fallacy. Bring them home, bring them home. They don't have the right weaponry. Bring them home, bring them home. The world's got hunger and ignorance. Bring them home, bring them home. You can't beat that with bombs and guns. Bring them home. Love your Uncle Sam, so if you love your Uncle Sam, bring him home, bring him home. Support, support our boys in Vietnam, bring him home, bring him home. Now I may be right, I may be wrong, bring him home, bring him home. But I got a right to sing this song, bring him home. I must confess, bring them home, bring them home. I'm not really a pacifist, bring them home, bring them home. If an army invaded this land of mine, bring them home, bring them home. You'd find me out on the firing line, bring them home. Even if they brought their planes to bomb, bring them home, bring them home. Or brought helicopters and napalm, bring them home, bring them home. So if you want, so if you love your Uncle Sam, bring them home, bring them home. Support our boys in Vietnam, bring them home. Their fallacy, bring them home, home, home. They don't have the right weaponry. Bring them home, bring them home. The world needs housing, food, and schools. Bring them home, home, home. And a few universal rules. Bring them home, bring them home. So if you love your Uncle Sam.
from Pete in 1962, Rachel Carson's book, Silent Spring, made a turning point in my life. As a kid, I'd been a nature nut, but at 15 or 16, I figured the main job to do was to help the meek inherit the earth, assuming that when they did, the foolishness of the private profit system would be put to an end. But in the early 60s, I realized that the world was being turned into a poisonous garbage dump. By the time the meek inherited it, it would not be worth inheriting. About this time, I also fell in love with sailing, but sailing on the Hudson, I saw lumps of toilet waste floating past me. Mr. Thompson calls the waiter, orders steak and baked potato. He leaves the bone and gristle, and he never eats the skin. The busboy comes and takes it, with a cough contaminates it, and puts it in a can with coffee grounds and sardine tins. The truck comes by on Friday, and hauls it all away. A thousand trucks just like it hit the landfill every day. Oh, garbage, 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 garbage. We're filling up the land with garbage, 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 garbage. What will we do when there's no place left to put all the garbage? Garbage, 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 garbage. Mr. Thompson starts his Cadillac and winds it down the freeway track, leaving friends and neighbors in a hydrocarbon haze. He's joined by lots of smaller cars, all sending gases to the stars. There they form a seething cloud that hangs for 30 days. The sun licks down into it with its ultraviolet tongue, turns it into smog, and then it settles in our lungs. Oh, garbage, 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 garbage. We're filling up the sky with garbage, 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 garbage. What will we do when there's nothing left to breathe but garbage, 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 garbage? He passes through the countryside where fields of corn span far and wide. In the plants, each cell exudes Monsanto's pesticide. The farmer drives his combine by for cattle feed and oil to fry the meals at the nursing home where grandma just died. Mr. Thompson grabs a Big Mac after choosing her gravestone as his arteries clog up and his heart loses muscle tone. Oh, garbage, 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 garbage. We're filling up our bodies with garbage, 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 garbage. What will we do when there's nothing but fast food and nobody has a clue and there's never any time you haven't got a dime, but you can't have grass-fed meat, cause there's nothing left to eat but garbage, 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 garbage. Getting home and taking off his shoes, he gets his fix of cable news while the kids do homework with Netflix in one ear. <laughs> the screens are filled with brutalities and alternate realities. When suddenly a tweet storm from the president appears. <laughs> Their Twitter feeds explode as the world fills with dread, and the anchors talk about the latest crazy thing he said. Oh, garbage, 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 garbage. We're filling up our minds with garbage, 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 garbage. What will we do? When there's nothing left to read, and nothing left to need, and nothing left to watch, nothing left to touch, nothing left to walk upon, nothing left to talk upon, nothing left to see, and nothing left to be but garbage. In Mr. Thompson's factory, they're making plastic Christmas trees complete with silver tinsel. And a geodesic stand. <laughs> the plastic's mixed in giant vats from some conglomeration that's been piped from deep within the earth or strip mined from the land. And if you question anything, 
they say, why don't you see? It's absolutely needed for the economy. Oh, garbage, 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 garbage. Their economics textbooks are garbage, 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 garbage. What will we do when the system goes to smash and there's no value to their cash and no more money to be made, only banks to be repaid? Our kids will read in history books about financiers and other crooks and feudalism and slavery and nukes and all their knavery to history's dustbin they're consigned along with all the other kinds of garbage. Some new words. Well, that's been.